many of the neighbors have been living in fear because we don't know what to do. Multiple dogs are removed from a Waynesville property following years of complaints from neighbors. In a story you'll only see on News 13, Hannah McKenzie spoke with those neighbors today and the dog owner. Right now, there are still eight dogs on the Brandywine Road property, six of which are Andrew Horton's. He tells me he is working to rehome those dogs. A dispute over dogs in this Waynesville neighborhood. <laughs> property owner Andrew Horton doesn't live here. He says he uses the home as a kennel where he's creating a new breed. I'm trying to design these dogs to be useful in wolf territory, and so they need to be robust. They need to be hardy. He calls them Dogo Lobero. There's no neglect going on. All the dogs are well fed, well cared for. They have insulated houses that they can use as they wish. HOA President Rob Bach describing a very different scene. From the early stages of when he started collecting dogs and breeding dogs, it was pretty apparent that there were problems with the welfare and health of the dogs. Three years of complaints culminating Sunday when one dog on the property mauled another to death. And it shouldn't have come to this. This should not have happened. He shouldn't be raising dogs. He shouldn't be allowed to. Jim Falvo shares a property line with Horton. Falvo took this video. You can see Horton wrapping up the dead dog's body. The first thing I thought of was, what if it was my wife? Sunday's incident, the final straw. Haywood County Sheriff's deputies and animal control officers responding to the scene. Ten dogs taken from the property voluntarily surrendered, says Howard Martin, executive director of animal services. When does this turn into an investigation of animal hoarding or animal neglect? So there's no hoarding and he's been cited for you know uh, leash law violations under our county ordinance he's been cited for uh, any kind of neglect on a ordinance but as far as all-out cruelty of state statutes no there's not been any cruel situation martin declined to say how many times animal control officers have been to the property Within the last year, the sheriff's office has been called out 104 times. Horton chalks it up to bad blood between neighbors. Falvo and Bach don't see it that way. The noise is a nuisance, but the greater concern is for the animals. As for the dogs of the 10 surrendered, one was given back to Horton's wife. The other nine, I'm told, will be evaluated to determine whether they're fit for adoption. If not, they will be euthanized. In Haywood County, Hannah McKenzie, News 13. Tonight, a major 